hello friends welcome back to third video of this series in the previous video we forgot to add the random key under this car so we have to add the push key under this car so go to firebase sorry android studio and here we will add that child and here we will pass the key that's it now when we run the application under this reference car because our data reference is car so under this car reference we will add the push key here you can see here we have generated the key and when we upload the data on the real time database we will add the key so we have to delete all old data and also we have to remove the images ok now run the application again ok now our application running on the simulator so go to firebase and open application now select the image let's say i select this image first image and here you can type any name let's say i type simply car and now click on upload here you can see it showing on the progress bar it depends on your internet speed okay now here you can see this time push key is available under this car and go to our storage let's refresh now here you can see here is the image so we have successfully uploaded the data on the firebase now in this video we will create user interface so let's open the demo application so here we will create this user interface and here we will create another activity so right click on the package new and select the activity and empty activity and here we will pass home activity and click on finish now when we uploaded data on the firebase we will simply redirect to the home activity and here we have uploaded the data so we will remove this toast message and simply redirect to the home activity so start activity and here we will create the new intent get activity context and pass the home activity dot class okay now when we uploaded the data on the firebase we will simply redirect to the home activity now here we will design that activity so first we will remove this constraint layout to relative layout now here we will add the edit text that is match parent wrap content and give the hint and here we will type search data here now give the margin let's say I select 20 dp margin ok now for this edit text we have to create the background so first we will give the id input search now here we will create vector asset so right click new and select the vector asset and this time i select the search we will type here search and select this search icon and change the name ic search and finish ok now we will create drivable so go to the resource drivable and right click on this package new and drivable and here we will call input search underscore search and click on ok now here we will change selector into shape now select the background so here we will add the corner i will select the radius into 70 db ok now we will add the stroke and here we will select the color color primary 
and also we have to give the width that is 2 dp okay now go to our activity home and here we will add the background so select the background and i will select input search select the padding left i select 20 dp padding top i will select 8 dp padding bottom also 8 dp and here we will add the drivable left or you can add on the right so i will select ic search okay now here we have to give the padding right okay now it's looking better now under this we have to add the recycler view so here we will add the recycler view that is match parent match parent and give the id i will select id recycler view and close it now it is below of id input search okay now it's looking better now go to activity.java and here we will initialize so first we will create the added text input search and our recycler view recycler view okay now initialized input search find view by id r dot id dot input search now duplicate this line and also add the recycler view okay now we will select recycler view dot set layout manager and here we will pass new linear layout manager and pass the context now recycler view dot set has fixed size and pass the true okay now we will create the single layout this layout and here we have text view and an image view so right click on this layout and here we will create layout resource file i will call it single underscore view and click on ok now here we will select relative layout ok now here we will add background i will select color primary and the height is wrap content and first we will add the image view so select the image view that is match parent height to 50 dp and now here we will select the source i will select an image from the driver so i will paste an image press ok and i will call it image press ok okay now here we will select the image from tribal and here it is now scale type select scale type i will select fit x y okay now select the margin from all side let's say it's like 20 dp okay now it's looking better now give the id image underscore single underscore view close it now we will select the text view so i will select text view that is match parent wrap content and here we will text let's say i type here my car select the text size let's say i select 25 dp and text color okay now here we will add the color white that is color recent okay now we will select the style i will select style text style i will select the bold and select the gravity i will select center now margin from top
and here we will select the background I will select background primary color primary so here we have to select the 45 okay now it's looking better now close it now we have successfully created this layout so in the next video we will learn how we can fetch data from the firebase using the firebase ui recycler view so see you in next video take care bye